Today, we're going to be talking about using Padlet to help students construct and demonstrate knowledge. So Padlet has a few new releases since the last time you probably checked them out. They have some cool features that are enabled through AI that you might want to check out. So Padlet now has this thing called Magic Padlet, which is their version of AI, and it's very easy to use just like any other AI platform that you might have used before in the past. So to use it, you're going to go to the Make a Padlet um, tab from your dashboard, and then you're going to click on this little green box with the little stars in it. To do that, it's going to bring up a question box that you are going to fill in with all the requirements that you need. Let's do that now. So you're going to go to Make a Padlet, and then this is where you can choose from a lot of new templates. They also have a lot of templates to choose from that you might not have checked out. So you're going to want to look through all the different template options. But today I want to focus on the AI options. First, it has you list your role, which is best practices in any time you use AI is to start with your role. And so I'm going to put I'm a first grade teacher. And I want to create a timeline of Thomas Edison's life. So this is one of the new features that Padlet has is that it can create timelines through the use of AI. It takes a minute, but then it gives you pictures and details um, of his life in chronological order on this timeline. So it would be a great way for you to, um, to use this in a lesson, but students can also use this if you're all doing projects on different inventors or just different figures from history. Um, they can use this to, as part of the, a presentation they're going to make, or this would also help them research as part of a bigger project to demonstrate knowledge. Another option is to create a map of historical events. So this map is a great way to kind of get an overall layout of history. You enter your subject, the event you want to outline, and the grade you want to teach. So this example does asteroid impacts on Earth. Or we could, let's see if we could do, let's say you want to create a map of battles of the Civil War. And so students can go in and do their research and create a map um, with the different cities. So they could do this as part of an assessment or they could do this to um, create a bigger project that they would do research on and present to the class. So there's a lot of different options with the map option. And then another thing that students can do is create reading lists. So this one gives students the opportunity to curate a reading list. Maybe they're doing it as part of their research. Maybe that's part of a research project is to curate their own resource list. So let's say I want to create a, a reading list for fifth grade students researching the Civil War. Okay, and then it comes up with appropriate resources for fifth graders to learn more about a topic. So this could be something they create as part of the project, or this could be something that they create to as part of their research for a project to know a starting point of books they could check out from the library. Or again, this could be part of the, the project is that they're creating this list for their classmates if they want to learn more about this topic. This again could be something that they curate. Then they could add resources that they of their choosing, which includes pictures, links, and that could be part of the assignment is use two that were suggested with the template, but then add three of your own um, because then that gives them kind of an idea of what 
they could suggest and then get make creating their own um, shows that they had to put some thought into what books would make sense for their peers to use as research. So that could be a, one way that you could use this either as, um, as a learning opportunity or as kind of more of an assessment opportunity. With Magic Padlet, your students can create maps, timelines, and curated reading lists. So try Magic Padlet and see the new ways your students can get creative in the classroom to learn and share their knowledge.